Let's take a look through the lying verse. Uh, uh, hmm. There's a few of these that aren't actually checkable anymore, so give me a moment here. Uh, let's try that one. Yeah, over here. Okay, um, what do you look like? What do you look like? Oh, Love. easy. Ah, okay, so, here we have the Machine Man, also more specifically known, I guess in shipping terms, as the Cyborg Lying, and actual name is Lionel Harrister, but apparently people don't like the, they don't like the Harrister name. Sorry, that's sort of a recurring element in this universe. Now, this particular lying is, well, actually male, for one thing, so he, him pronouns. Although, Lionel is actually demi, if I recall correctly, demisexual. So, pretty much only attracted to people he knows very well. Also, Caucasian, there are lyings that aren't, but this particular one is. And, for the most part, Lionel actually looks relatively normal. I say relatively, you can... anyways. Um, blue hoodie, wear it with a fairly familiar logo emblazoned across it, followed by some fairly normal white jeans. A little bit on the ragged side, actually, but yeah, anyways. Um, wouldn't look particularly out of place walking down High Street, now would he? Um, obviously, what separates him from the common man as we understand it would be, well, the arms. Um, pretty much entirely mechanical from the shoulder out and also from the hip down and parts of the chest and that a lot of parts basically arms are actually specialized to his particular daily uses so um this one has a soldering laser because you know that's something you put in your hand if you do a lot of electronics apparently over one over side there actually has a magnet in it so he can hold items pretty much indefinitely kind of handy actually but can you can you imagine him doing the shopping you ah. Other than that, we can also see eyes are a little bit, um, well, basically the face is a little messed up in terms of stuff. Um, doesn't actually get much better vision than your standard lion, uh, but can, be, can pipe basically any info he wants to his visual cortex. So imagine having a heads up display anywhere you went. Basically it's that. And then the legs. Oh boy, those legs. Um, if you hadn't guessed this, that's actually Rocketry down there. He is fully capable of self-propulsion, can fly in short, and, um, yeah, basically has built-in jet boots. Oh boy, this'll be a fun one to talk about. So, what kind of history leads us to a creature like this? Well, in particular for Lionel, he was born with curved bones and a bit of nerve damage in one of his arms. Uh, consequently, his early life was assisted by several devices to allow him to live more comfortably. A series of increasingly complex and elegantly designed contraptions which probably sparked his fascination with mechanization and assistive technologies. This eventually led to designing his own devices, and almost inevitably to bypassing the disabled limbs entirely of some exoskeletal technology. Internal devices and full limb replacement were, to his mind at least, just the next logical step. Now, this would seem to cause a few bits of concern in our standard world, so I shall stress that Lionel's world does exist slightly far ahead of ours, um, much as tablet technology becoming a popular fashion, like, drove its rapid development in our world, early advances in cybernetics made the headlines and cyberpunk became a popular vision for the near future of Lionel's world. Though most are not quite as homebrew as Lionel, cybernetics are far from strange in his world and he makes a decent living as a self-employed mechanic to pursue his hobby work. He works on a lot of limbs, to say the least. Personality-wise, Lionel would be described as a very calm man, always thinking he is usually too busy contemplating some puzzle or design or another, and this baseline level of inherent distraction makes it difficult for him to focus. He is, by nature, an engineer, as his typical approach to a problem is to break it down into its elements to be addressed each in turn in the most efficient means available. Okay, that's pretty much it for this particular instance of the Forbidden Lyings. Uh, one particular headcanon I do like is that Sam's artwork, and indeed the skin, show shoes on somebody who has rocket feet. They're just spats, aren't they? 
Cyborg Line doesn't actually wear shoes, they're just like covers for jet propulsion. <laughs> That's my favourite head kind of about this particular character. Anyways, with that, I will answer any further questions about this particular line in the comments, as long as they're not spoilery. And there's two more yet to go, and more to be unlocked yet, so catch you all next time.